Okay, you are for next. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, I told you I would show you step by step on how to apply that um, weed killer for your lawn so we could kill off these winter weeds, fall weeds, winter weeds. And I'm gonna also show you how to put down your pre-emergent, the granular form. Okay, you are for next. Look, I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna get straight to it. One of the things you're gonna need is your pre-emergent. We chose the granular guys because it's so cold out here. Mixing that liquid stuff is just gonna take too long. It's too cumbersome. This is the easiest way to apply. Now, this may not be the best way to apply. If you want to see how to do it the liquid way, wait to the end of the video. I will put a link at the top so you can click on. Now, the other thing you're going to need is your image. And the reason we chose the image, guys, is because this is the only big box herbicide that kills annual bluegrass. All right. So a lot of you guys are getting an annual bluegrass in your lawn right now. That's a winter weed and it's, it just get worse during the spring. Right now, I want to go ahead and try to tackle this. And the reason I want to try to get that annual bluegrass out of the way now, because it hasn't started to seed yet, guys. So as long as it hadn't started to seed, we are still looking okay. But once it starts to seed, oh, it's going to be horrible. Okay, and another thing you may need is your blower right here. Guys, this is my Greenworks commercial, the GB uh, B700 right here. I'm going to use this. I may, You may or may not need a blower, but I got one just in case. And let me show you the other thing that you're going to need. Okay, guys, make sure you have your spreader. Now, as you know, I'm using the Let's Go spreader right here. This is more professional brand right here. And it goes along with the product that I'm using because the settings are on the back of the bag. Easy to read, easy to follow. If you have a Scott's Deluxe or a Scott's Drop Spreader, I'll show you those settings also. Okay, guys, and one other thing you may need is your lawnmower. Now, you can either mulch or bag. I will say this. Now, you see this annual bluegrass right here guys right now we haven't look guys look at this i'm already getting aeration for free but right now I, I don't have any weeds in my lawn that are seeding so i'm gonna go ahead and probably mulch cut my yard but let me explain this to you if you have a lawn that has a lot of weeds in it guys and i'm always saying this weeds with weed seeds and stuff like that Please use your bagger. Bag up that stuff, guys, because when you cut, when you mulch your yard that has a lot of weed seeds in it, what you end up doing is scattering the seeds all over the yard again. And that's one of the reasons why your pre-emergent is not working as effective as you want it to work. So, guys, the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and get these leaves and stuff off the lawn. I'm either mulch them or you can bag them. Remember what I said. If you got a lot of weeds, guys, use your bagger, guys. But if you don't have a lot of weeds, um, then you can go ahead and mulch, but if you have weeds with weed seeds on it, don't mulch back. Okay, you are for next. One of the reasons you want to one bag let me let me show you this and i love this this greenworks 25 inch i love it that they don't have that piece right there in the middle so when i take this off i can easily access the bag but look at this so when you're cutting and you're mulching if you got any weed seeds in here that's why i dump them over there all right if you got a lot of weeds in your lawn and you mulch you just spread the seeds back around on the grass so you're making it harder for your herbicides and your pre-emergent to work. So make sure you always bag it up if you got a lot of weeds. Find you a good spot to dump it. <clears throat> and don't use this as compost for flower beds or anything else if it has a lot of weeds in it. All right, you see me shaking the bag like that because I want to make sure it's all out of there. And before you put that bagger, back on there guys make sure you check the inside where the grass is going to the back and get any extra and they always say bag 80 75 to 80 percent then dump okay you are for next look now that you got all that grass and stuff bagged up all those weeds guys if you got you can use a blower to to blow all the stuff off your yard also but if you didn't and you got a wood line like mine, make sure you blow all the extra stuff back up into the woods because 
once you spray this stuff on the yard, you don't want stuff to blow back. Uh, excuse me. Once you spray this stuff on the yard, you want to make sure all that's out the way. So, you Okay, guys, I got this green works. And I'm just going to go ahead and blow it. I'm going to do a review on this thing. Probably spring somewhere around there. But right now, check it out. All right, guys you see I, I, I blowed all that stuff like I said the reason I want to do that because when I spray the liquid chemical I want to try to get as far right here to kill any of the weed this weed kill for lawn so it'll help knock out some of that now that stuff that's up in the woods you'll probably need some glyphosate and something like that that's another video in itself you got to be careful because if you spray glyphosate in your woods and it's running towards your property you're gonna run that glyphosate and kill all your grass Okay, y'all, for next, next step is to go ahead and put down the granular pre-emergent. And we're using the Let's Go Stonewall 0.86 uh, 007 plus fertilizer. Reason it's called that because you have 7% potash. And for every 1,000 square feet, I'm going to put down 0.68 of an ounce. Not 6.8 of an ounce. 0.68 of an ounce so is going down every 1,000 square feet. Guys, on the back of this right here, I'm using the Let's Go. I'm going to go at a heavier rate which means I'm going to put down 3.37 pounds per 1,000 square feet. So that rate actually goes up just to taste when you do that. But <clears throat> I'm going to put this spreader setting on 14. And as you can see, mine is on 14. Now, guys, if you have a Scott's edge guard, the spreader settings are 4, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5. The bigger the number you put it on, the more this product you're going to put down. Okay, you are for next. And one thing I always recommend, please pour your fertilizer or whatever product you're going to put in your spreader. Do it on concrete. Don't do it on the grass because you get fertilizer burn. I got a video for that. If that happens, click on the link below or above. And you can watch that video at the end of this video. Don't don't click now. Just watch this. So what you got to do, guys, and I like giving these full tutorials. Guys, remember what I said. You cannot cliff note your way through this stuff. A lot of people just want five second videos and they miss a whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. Now, that's a 50 pound Harper spreader right there. This bag weighs 50 pounds. Now. I think in the future they're going to reduce the size of these bags to maybe 45 40 because of the product is being scarce so what better way than just to reduce the heaviness of the bag you may lose the square footage or something like that but they got to make a decision guys so we just pour it in here make sure that it's closed before you pour it in there and if if this thing is too heavy for you you don't have to fill it all the way up. You can do half the bag and then come back and do the other half. Or you can fill it all the way up. I'm going to do like half the bag because <clears throat> BYD getting a little older. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and apply this to the lawn. And I'll let you see what it looks like. This is the uh, Let's Go 007 that you get at Home Depot. See all that yellow and orange in there? It's nice. So let's go ahead and put this down. So one thing you need to know, guys, if like I said, if you don't know your square footage, you need to know what that is. But if you don't, if you don't listen to what I'm saying, if you don't put that stuff in your harper or your spreader, put it on the number they suggest and push away. I got a video showing you how to optimize your fertilizer. Now, if you want to know what square footage is, square footage is with times length you can figure it out that way also but what i'm trying to do guys is make this as easy as possible because you know it's it's bad enough that you having a hard time with these numbers but this is going to be the easiest way to do it so i'm just going to do this half of the yard i got it on 14 i'm gonna open it up and i'm gonna go ahead and spread so guys if you're going around rock beds and stuff like that just let the 
free emergent going to those rock beds. If you uh, you got annual bulbs or perennial bulbs, I'd be like flowers. I'd be a little bit more. I wouldn't do it because you could stunt the growth of it. But uh, guys, if you're getting value out of this video, please. Please, for my ego, <laughs> hit that like button, <laughs> hit that subscription button also, turn on the notifications bell, and every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube, and guys, the all notification bell, not, don't just subscribe, hit that bell with those little brackets on the side of it. That way, you'll get my content. Probably the only content person doing YouTube videos <laughs> right now. <laughs> A week before Christmas. But I get asked, can I put that pre-emergent down? Also, this late? And my answer is yes. Temperatures are messed up everywhere, guys. As long as your ground is not frozen, what I mean by that, it's not uh, 25 degrees outside and snowing. Yeah, put that stuff down. Go ahead, put it down. And uh, get it watered in. The idea behind all of this, guys, is just to try to get these weeds out of your yard. Remember, pre-emergent is not a weed killer. It's a weed preventer. Alright, so once you understand that, you'll be a whole lot better off. And I want to show you this. I did roughly about thousand square feet remember I'm at a higher rate and that stuff is emptied out man look at that wow okay you are for next so let me explain to you how it works you see those granules right there when it gets wet that prodiamine and stuff or whatever herbicide pre-emergent herbicide is on it will melt off of it and basically spread over the soil and go down in the soil that's that's the simple way and next thing you need is your water hose outlet. Now, let me tell you this before you start using this, make sure that rubber seal in there. I always say that. Make sure ain't no dirt or nothing in there. Before you connect it to that, turn the water on and let it flow for about five or 10 seconds, just in case some dirt got in there, it'll come out. Cause people are always saying that it didn't work or it felt like it was clogged up. That could be one of them, or you just got a bad bottle. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, now that we got the bottle, we got it hooked up. Make sure you don't have any leaks. When you first get this, you gotta turn it upside down and shake it and check for leaks at the same time. Um, if you got any kind of residue down at the bottom, that'll help mix it up. And I always love it because they got these meters on the side so you can see what you're spraying. But shake it up, guys. Shake it up real good. Now, these may be a little tricky, they kind of hurt. Pull that little white tab back. You see that little white tab right there? Pull it back. Then turn it to your way to go, <laughs> which is to the left or towards you, and start spraying. Now, hopefully, my mic system is hooked up right. Yeah. You can hear me. So, guys, the way you want to do this is I like giving full-fledged tutorials. Um, I feel like that's the best way to learn, but when, when you're cliff noting it, you're not going to get all this information, guys. So this bottle supposedly covers, I would say, up to 8,000 square feet, all right? And what you do is you go side to side, and I'm just kind of hitting these areas over here because I got some uh, some uh, bitter crest and uh, annual bluegrass over there. But guys, what I do, I slow walk backwards. 
side to side. Yeah, it works better if you got another person, but don't don't go in the comments about dragging the holes across the chemicals. We know that guys and 90% of the people that put this down, they're gonna do that anyway. So but somebody barbecuing out here. Smell it. But go side to side. Nice and slow. And what you have to do is kind of keep an eye on your meter to make sure that you don't use it up before you completely spray your 8,000 square feet. Now, do you have to spray 8,000 square feet? The answer is no. No, you can still have some left over in there. And, um, you know, cut it off and use it later. You know, what happens if you spray... 20,000 square feet with this bottle and it says it only covers 8,000 square feet then it's not going to work as well it sprays up to 8,000 square feet guys so I wouldn't go over that that's why I always say check your um, product label and, and see what the square footage is and see if it's for your lawn now I know I'm going to get asked that question can you spray this on St. Augustine the answer is yes, but only during like the spring, or early summer. The image bottle doesn't recommend you spray this on um, to try to kill winter weeds in St. Augustine in the, in the wintertime. Um, I, I don't know why. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt the grass. You know, I don't know. But that's their recommendation. Now, that... There is a purple bottle that's made for St. Augustine also. Um, check that out, guys. I think it's St. Augustine and Centipede, and it's made by Image. You know, but... Yeah, just go back and forth. Keep your eye on your meter, guys. Now, sometimes it's not going to come out as fast as you want it to. And I think sometimes that may be because they want you to make sure it's covering all the grass and all the leaves not leaves uh, weeds on the lawn so do you need to put a, a marker down here the answer is you can but don't that's gonna be real messy real messy i would not do it you should be able to tell where you're spraying guys you, sh you shouldn't have to use the marker die initially the marker die and i'm gonna have to turn backwards the mar marker die was meant for spot spraying, all right? Now, you've seen Home, not Home Depot, you've seen uh, uh, Scott's and all those guys come out. Some of them, they actually have the, um, well, they put it in their tanks, you know, but for, for the homeowner, I'm not going to recommend that. You can do it. I've done it. you seen I got videos where I did it. But it's, it was just, it was exciting. But when you're, when you're new to this, or you don't want to go through all that, don't, don't do that. So what we're doing now is just spraying it. Notice I'm spraying all the way up to that property line. Real good. And yeah, this, this is a long tutorial. <laughs> That's why I time stamped it, guys. You know, you don't have to click away. Just go to the points that you like. Don't get bored, but if you hit a cliff note, guys you're not gonna um you're not gonna get all the information so with that make sure you twist that 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 trigger all the way so it, it'll be coming out sometimes you don't have it open up so shake it up twist it and just keep your eye on your meter if it's coming out slow guys the only thing i can tell you is you're just gonna be walking be walking all right so I, I i pretty much told you everything you know i don't want you to get bored but i'm gonna finish this up real quick but i just had to tell you some of that stuff so you'll know of it like i said cover every square inch of your yard do you need to spot tree yeah you can you know two ounces 2.5 ounces per one gallon of water in a pump sprayer, I would make sure it's kind of lukewarm. Don't put ice cold water in there. Make sure it's kind of lukewarm because, okay, you are for next. And that's it right there, guys. Simple as put it down, spray it. Now, you use the image, so in about, I would say, between one to seven days, 
Guys, this is on the label, so don't go in the comments saying, oh, it doesn't absorb through the leaf. This is exactly what it says in the label. Absorbs through the leaf after one to seven days, water that stuff in, and it's gonna go down to the root. All right, and that's gonna help kill it off also. All right, so the pre-emergent granular and the image combo for those of you who have um, annual bluegrass. If you don't have annual bluegrass, guys, you can use whatever you want. Just identify the weed that's in your lawn. Find a product that's a hose-in sprayer. This is simple as it's going to get spray to yard. Guys, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, <laughs> and I'll talk to you later.